copy, it's actually not even a copy, an original signature wow. by the secretary. I have not seen this in any public domain at all, so you are the first. So this is very he did sign this. This is for you. Thank you very much. Uh, and I'm sorry it took so long. Quite frankly, it's been a little uh, very uh, busy around here. I could so. imagine. <laughs> but that is yours. This is very, very, very meaningful to me. Oh, well, I am glad. Although on the new hundred, uh, the secretary and I are both on the left-hand side, uh, and, and, and in fact, uh, he's on top. So I could either sign below him, or I could just change it up, and I can sign on the right. Change it up. Okay. All right. One day, my grandchildren will, will, will auction it off. <laughs> you are actually the first person that I'm aware of, and this has to be true, otherwise I would be the one to know. You're the first person to get both our signatures on something. Are you serious? Yes. This is the first time I'm actually signing something with his signature on it as well. Yes, that is true. It's very meaningful to me. Well, I'll have both your signatures I'm, I'm on thrilled. the Rowe Wallenberg Congressional Gold Medal. Uh, yeah, considering his. You have, you, you've heard, of course, yes. all of that. And actually, his, uh, his $5 note is coming out very, very shortly. So it's the $5 note that'll have the signature first. And it should be uh, any day now, if I'm not mistaken. So that will have both our signatures on it. And I'm sure once that comes out, we'll be uh, signing left and right. So, so there you go. Wow. So this is the first time that your signature? Yes. And your both your signatures, yes. both Secretary Lou and, and Treasurer Rio? Yes. Are both on a... Uh, yes. On something that has actually left coin, our building, yes. Coin yes. related. Yes. Um, yes. You know? and, and money related. So, but wow. any minute now, that five dollar note is going to come out with both our signatures. But yes, this is the first. Thank you very much. I can't much. imagine any other item that is more deserving, quite frankly. And I have my my seventeen year old son and my thirteen year old daughter, and uh, I decided to spend spring break, and we went uh, spring break here, and we went to the Holocaust Museum. It was the first one we went to, uh, and we spent all day there, and it was something. It was something. It was beyond what I imagined. It was much more um, emotional than I ever could have imagined. And uh, you know, my kids are hard enough to take out to any museum, but to spend the quality time that we did there was uh, was really was really uh, inspiring. What, what, inspiring. what did they take away? What, what was most? Uh, what, what did they connect the, with the most? Yeah, I think the most profound experience for them during the visit was um, the shoe display. That was really difficult that for them. Home. It did. I think because it was it was it was very symbolic in so many ways, but it also had its own you know, the way it was displayed, the smell, the the feeling of, of the personal image of the mm -hmm. shoes. Uh, and it, you know the shoe has such a Symbolism as it is, you know, walking in someone else's shoes, etc. For all those reasons, we spent a good amount of time in that area. And, and now my, my kids, uh, we live in Potomac, my kids are in Bethesda schools, um, where most all their friends are, are from the Jewish community. It's, it's such a great experience. It really is such a wonderful, uh, fulfilling experience. That's good to know. Yeah, it's, uh... We're all interconnected. Absolutely. We're, we're, we're more alike than, than we care to admit. Oh, absolutely. No, of course. So we moved here. Again, they moved here four years ago. And so we live in a community in, um, in Potomac where, as I mentioned, um, you know, most all their activities are, 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 are mostly focused on, on, our, on our, our Jewish community. And so my daughter is invited to Shabbat almost every Shabbat. Friday. So almost go. every Friday. Uh, you know, they, they just got Rosh Hashanah off last right. Thursday, and, and so and so it's funny, I, I got an email from one of, my daughter, her name is Brooke, I got an email from one of Brooke's friend's father. He sent me an email and he says, how does Brooke know all the prayers and songs at Shabbat? And I wrote back, <laughs> I said, she, goes, she goes to Shabbat I said, dinner. I said, well, that, and, and you know, she's, she's 13, so she just went through all the the bar mitzvahs and the bat mitzvahs and, and you know all the celebrations and all the all the the cell, all the activities that come with that. She, so we moved here again. They moved here four years ago, and so we live in a community in um, in Potomac where, as I mentioned, 
you know, most all their activities are, 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 are mostly focused on, on, our, on our, our Jewish community. And so my daughter is invited to Shabbat almost every Shabbat Friday, so almost every Friday. Uh, you know, they, they just got Rosh Hashanah off last right. Thursday. Right. And, and, so, and so it's funny, I, I got an email from one of my daughter, her name is Brooke. I got an email from one of Brooke's friend's father. He sent me an email and he says, how does Brooke know all the prayers and songs at Shabbat? And I wrote back. Right. <laughs> I said, she goes. She goes to show pop dinner. Exactly. Well, that and and you know she's she's 13, so she just went through all the the bar mitzvahs and the bat mitzvahs and and you know all the celebrations and all the all the the cel all the activities that come with that. She's gone to Hebrew school with some of her friends. She still gets invited to services all the time. And so I, I responded back to this father, saying uh, jokingly, of course. That right now we're planning her brook mitzvah <laughs> as we okay. speak. So, <laughs> you know, but at the end of the day, it's very healthy for. I love it. I, I love it. I, I celebrate it, and I and, and my my whole point of that is to say, um, I think it's very it's a very healthy and constructive notion to know what we have in common. Exactly what you're talking about. Whether. They came from a Chinese neighborhood, whether they're now in a Jewish neighborhood, whether our next one is going to be, you know, East Indian, who knows. But I think the common threads are there, and, and so, uh, and they enjoy every minute of it. Because, you know, they're learning something new, they're appreciating someone else's culture, and if you, if you, if you scratch beneath the surface, you realize we all come from, we all come from the same origins. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even if you, if you, uh, if you show you, read this, uh, Latinos, where do you trace your heritage? To Spain. Jews also lived in Spain mm. 400 plus mm -hmm. years ago. Many of the Jews that left Spain was a result of the Inquisition. Mm. And they say that there's a, a large portion of the Latino community, uh, Mexico and even in South America, some of them have Jewish traditions to this very day. Mm. Some communities like they, they, they like candles on Friday night, and no one understands why. Hmm. If you do a little bit of research, you'll see That's that. I, I, I know that it's, a, it's, it's obviously it's a Catholic. Yeah. Okay. Huh. But some, there are some communities uh, 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 of Latino, uh, uh, some Latino communities that people say, yeah, my grandmother always lit candles, and she was kind of hiding it. And we don't know why we do it, but we do it. Yeah. And because it could be that they our descendants from Jews who originally left Spain as a result of the Spanish Inquisition, but over the years they obviously assimilated and they're practicing Catholics, but they still retain certain customs mm -hmm. that are Jewish in origin. And they don't even understand where, it, what the original uh, uh, sources are. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, we're, we're all interrelated. We just, we just want to learn more about each other. Absolutely. So this is what Wallenberg did, I mean, Absolutely. you know, you know, what, you know what's so surprising about Wallenberg? He, he could have been a successful banker or successful in whatever profess, profession he chose. He didn't have to do it. It wasn't like he was a soldier and he was a war and he was a career diplomat and then he, he was faced with the dilemma, what do I do? He essentially decided, I am going to save the, as many Jews as I can. And when he could have gotten out, he, he didn't, he refused to. And to this very day, we don't know what happened to Wallenberg. And that's so, it's so, it's not, it's frust frustrating is not the right word. It's, 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 it doesn't allow for closure. Mm -hmm. and, and the Russians have not uh, disclosed what happened with Wallenberg. To this very day, his family seeks answers. There have been members of his family that have spent literally millions of dollars and have died of heartbreak because they don't know what happens to a wrong. And, that's, yeah. and, that, yeah, and, that's, and that, that was one of the reasons also why I decided to launch this project, mm -hmm. is, to, is to shed light, is to remind the world mm -hmm. that we don't know what happened with Wallenberg. Mm -hmm. He died somewhere in the Soviet Union. We don't know when. Yeah. And, and, and closure is so important. As human beings, we all want closure. You know? okay. Closure is, uh, you never have it. And, Hopefully this will be one more step in, in that final uh, process. Yeah. One of many steps, hopefully. Yes, yes, so. so I hope that you'll you'll be part of 
in, in February or March, I'm, I'm meeting with the speaker's office. Oh, okay. They'll decide Good. on a date. I hope yeah. that you will be there. I don't think I've ever missed a congressional world ceremony. He said. We have one tomorrow, in fact, the 16th Street Baptist Church ceremony that's, is tomorrow. That's, so. and, 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 uh, that's, that's very close to my mm. heart because I am working on another two gold medal projects. Oh. One has one one which the legislation was introduced in August, the 90th birthday of the president of Israel, Shimon Peres, ah, okay. which coincides with the 65th anniversary of the state of Israel. So that legislation wow. has been introduced. Okay. I'd like to pass it during this uh, during this session, during this congressional session, and if possible, I don't know. I think your office oversees the actual striking of the coin once it gets. Yes. Oh yes, absolutely. If, yes. If, once that happens, if you can fast track it, I know that uh, it's quite yeah, difficult no, they, to they, do. Yeah, but we, they, they've done a great job so far. Yeah, this is going I'm wondering what is the feeling like when you have your signature on it and you're <laughs> shopping. Like, do, do you feel like it wow, is like a weird? Strange feeling. I'll tell you, it is a very, very strange feeling. Uh, and 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 I'll tell you, what's more emotional for me is that it's you know it's my kids name and they're the ones who you know moved here they're the ones who uh you know literally i took them out of that one neighborhood that one house that one school to move here so it's more redeeming i think that it's for them versus me so if you're asking for id say i'm on the dollar bill I, <laughs> right that's me it's you know? the best business card that's <laughs> right the very best business <laughs> card. I, 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 most I'm people probably won't recognize you but will people ever like look at a bill and say Wait a minute, are you related to the person that, that's uh, uh, I think I've had that a couple times where someone does notice something. Congratulations on this, Thank really, you. I'm thrilled. I did not expect, I expected to walk on maybe with a big one, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, but this is, this is very, very, very Oh, I'm glad. Signed by the secretary and by you, and really, really thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you, and thank you for your patience on this.